G'day, Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooacordofaustralia.com. Now, on Sunday the 24th of March 2024, I published an article titled Channel 7 Paid Thousands for Prostitutes for Bruce Lerman, approved by owner Kerry Stokes. And I'm going to read you out the whole article. The reason being it's a very important article. Not only uh, does it drag in new players, uh, New South Wales Police Minister and also the New South Wales Police Commissioner, but it also sets a foundation for more reporting in the future because the cover-ups are going down at Channel 7 as well. So it's really a deep dive into Channel 7 and what they were doing uh, with their uh, spotlight interview with Bruce Lerman and their part in the cover-up or attempted cover-up. And since Sunday, uh, other information has emerged. So I'll read you out the article first. And the article starts off, Kerry Stokes, Channel 7, paid for prostitutes for alleged rapist Bruce Lerman and a seven staffer in November 2022 during the course of Lerman's rape trial as part of the negotiations for Lerman to do an interview on Seven Spotlight program. Bruce Lerman and the prostitute issue is now engulfing the office of the New South Wales Police Minister, Yasmin Catley, and the New South Wales Police Commissioner, Karen Webb, who has in the last few days employed a key player from Seven, Steve Jackson, who tried to reverse the payment for the prostitutes as a new media advisor. Channel Seven do not deny the Seven staff are paid for prostitutes for himself and Lerman on a Channel Seven Spotlight credit card nor do they deny that Seven tried to reverse a credit card transaction and pay cash to cover it up as per below text messages, which are in the article. Bruce Lerman is denying the claim, but he is not threatening defamation ag action against News Corp and Samantha Maiden, who is the journalist who wrote the article. Given Lerman's truckloads of perjury and, and his admission to even more lies, any denial by him is hardly credible. News.com reported on Thursday, the 21st of the 3rd, 2024, it was a bombshell interview with Bruce Lerman that promised viewers nothing was off limits. But as now emerged, the broadcaster left out the night when the Network 7 credit card was used to book the former Liberal staffer a $1,000 Thai massage. The total amount paid in one night for Lerman and the seven staffer appears on the Spotlight credit card as $2,940 in multiple transactions of $1,000. The Sydney Morning Hill reported on Saturday the 23rd of March 2024, Lerman agreed he was in Sydney with the staffer on the night, but he denied using the services. It's an untrue and bizarre story from a disgruntled ex-Network 7 producer, Lerman told News Corp. Network 7 has only ever covered reasonable travel for filming and accommodation. Multiple sources, speaking on the condition of being anonymous, told this masthead, the Sydney Milton Herald, that the network paid thousands of dollars on flights, food and accommodation for Lerman, a keen golfer, including a trip to Tasmania that included a visit to a golf course when they were doing the deal. They really wanted that story, said one. Serial liar and perjurer Bruce Lerman can blame a disgruntled ex-Network 7 producer, but the problem Lerman has is that no one at 7 is denying the story, and that's why he can't sue or make threats to sue for defamation. At one point, the news.com article says seven paid $1,000 for one prostitute for Lerman. And at another point, it's two prostitutes, one for Lerman and one for the staffer. Unless seven are prepared to say more, then it is likely more of the $2,940 spent in total on the one night might have been on the prostitutes. Well, given we know Bruce Lerman is a cokehead, maybe cocaine. Either way, the money was not for Thai massages, as they do not cost $1,000 or even $500. It was money spent by a major media company for a prostitute, for an alleged serial rapist, during the course of a rape trial, which raises many questions, which I'll discuss below. Channel 7 said they never paid Bruce Lerman for the interview on Seven Spotlight show, but we now know for a fact, as exposed during Lerman's defamation case, that Seven paid about $120,000 for 12 months rent for Lerman. Bruce Lerman also, under oath in the defamation case, told Justice Michael Lee in the Federal Court of Australia that he was not paid by Seven. But now there are reported allegations of Seven paying for prostitutes, airfares, food, accommodation and golf, etc., which, if true, means Lerman perjured himself. And given Channel 10 and Lisa Wilkinson subpoenaed documents from Channel 7 regarding payments to Lerman for his rent, are Seven in contempt of court for failing to hand over receipts for the prostitutes, airfares, food, accommodation and golf, etc., Justice Michael Lee has announced he will hand down his judgment on Lerman's defamation case on the 4th of April 2024, but maybe he should set it down for another day for hearing given the new evidence of possible perjury by Lerman and possible contempt of court by Channel 7. The Sydney Morning Herald have reported on Saturday the 23rd of the 3rd, 24, 
that the full two thousand nine hundred and forty dollars was for the prostitutes in the Sydney Morning Herald has named the former seven staffer as Taylor Orbach, who has now been sacked by Sky News because of the scandal. The SMH reports the controversial appointment of veteran seven news journalist Steve Jackson to run media affairs for New South Wales Police has taken an unexpected turn with his former colleague, Taylor Orbach, being sacked by Sky News Australia. Orbach has only been appointed to the role of investigations producer at News Corp-owned news channel in January after an early exit from Seven Spotlight Current Affairs program. While not named in recent stories, it's widely known that Orbach was an unnamed Spotlight producer who put almost $3,000 on a Seven corporate card for the services of two Thai masseuses. It has understood his role in putting almost $3,000 worth of Thai masseuse services on a Seven corporate card was a factor in Sky terminating his services on Friday. The station declined to comment further. Some of the issues that Kerry Stokes Channel 7 paying for a prostitute for Bruce Lemon raises are Seven paid for the prostitute for Bruce Lemon on the 25th of November 2022, which is after the rape trial had been aborted on the 27th of October 2022 because of juror misconduct. But before Lerman was found out on the 2nd of December 2022 that he would not face a retrial, Lerman's Twilma rape allegations were not known at that time and he wasn't charged until 2023. So the time Seven were paying for Lerman to be supplied with sexual services, he was still potentially facing another rape trial in the ACT. One of the biggest issues was raised by someone on social media site threads as per below. And that person, Retro Nikki, says, Channel 7 knowingly put a sex worker at risk by putting them in a room in Elizabeth Bay with an alleged serial rapist. His whole MO, mode of operation, is around non-consent. Did he commit the crime of stealthing? Did he unconsensually choke them? An investigation is warranted. The alleged serial rapist comment above is supported by numerous other women who have made sexual assault and rape allegations against Bruce Lerman. Channel 7's history of paying criminals for stories with Kerry Stokes' approval. When you look at the history of Kerry Stokes' Channel 7 paying criminals for stories and spending massive dollars on defamation cases to cover up crimes, there can be no doubt that Kerry Stokes approved the spending on the prostitutes. If Stokes didn't approve it beforehand, he definitely did after, given no one was sacked for it, which is what would happen at any other company. In 2023, Kerry Stokes 7 Spotlight spent huge dollars on legal fees for suppression orders to protect alleged pedophiles who starred on 7, which is still before the courts. Kerry Stokes spent an estimated $30 million to try and conceal Ben Robert Smith war crimes. Stokes tried to get 7 to pay the bill until he was found out. Given Kerry Stokes has no problem spending big dollars trying to protect war criminals and alleged pedophiles, do you think he has a problem paying a few thousand dollars for a prostitute for an alleged serial rapist for an interview? Of course he doesn't. And that's why he didn't sack anyone for it. Bruce Lerman's scandal is of his own making. The Bruce Lerman scandal has engulfed, damaged and destroyed the careers of a lot of people in the political, media, legal and law enforcement fraternities. Now the Lerman scandal has taken another turn, leading into Channel 7, Sky News, the New South Wales Police Minister and the New South Wales Police Commissioner. It can be traced back to Bruce Lerman, his Channel 7 spotlight interview and his frivolous defamation claim against Channel 10 and Lisa Wilkinson, which has produced a lot of the evidence. Don't forget, all evidence points to a major motivation for Bruce Lerman, his barrister Stephen Wybrow and Senator Linda Reynolds doing the spotlight interview was to try and bully and intimidate Brittany Higgins not to give evidence at Lerman's defamation trial. Intimidating a witness is a criminal offence. So if that is the case, and I have no doubt it is, then the spotlight interview was a crime and everyone involved should be charged by the New South Wales Police. See the problem? Well, the New South Wales Police going to charge the New South Wales Police Commission's new media advisor, Steve Jackson. And what will the New South Wales Police do if any of Bruce Lerman's other alleged victims decide to make complaints? And will Steve Jackson leak to Kerry Stokes Channel 7? I sometimes read comments on social media of people saying they are sick of this story. Don't be. It has taken us straight into the heart of corruption in Australia on so many levels, and it's going to keep on growing. There will be books, there will be movies, and there will has to be a Royal Commission. Now, Taylor Orbach, the person who spent the $3,000 on the Channel 7 credit card, he uh, had a press conference on Monday, the 25th of March, 2024, to explain himself, but he read out a note for about two minutes and then he did a runner. He didn't want to answer any question, but he didn't deny the allegation of spending $3,000 on Thai masseuses, which are clearly prostitutes. He's throwing uh, Bruce Lerman under the bus again. Bruce Lerman's denying the allegation, but no one at seven is. And the person who spent the money on the credit card, well, he's not denying it either. So the only one denying uh, the story about the prostitutes is Bruce Lerman. 
Now, this story is just going to keep on growing. I pointed out in the article, uh, the prostitute uh, situation potentially has an impact on the defamation trial because it looks like Bruce Lemon perjured himself. And it looks like uh, Channel 7 was holding evidence from subpoenas that they didn't hand over the relevant documents or the receipts, and etc. You know, Lisa Wilkinson and Channel 10 could potentially use the new information if they needed to appeal the judgment. The judgment's going to be handed down on April 4th, the defamation trial. But if they need to appeal it, maybe the new information might help them. And they could potentially use that new information for contempt proceedings against uh, Bruce Lemon and Channel 7 if they did. If Bruce Lemon did perjure himself and if Channel 10 uh, did commit contempt. Yeah, I'll keep on following up on this story, so make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And Kangaroo Court of Australia's independent media, I publish a website and a YouTube channel, and I'm 100% crowdfunded from viewers like yourself, so please support my Patreon account. We currently have 409 supporters donating $2,352 a month, and I need to almost double it to become financially viable. And you can donate any amount, $3, $5, 10 15 20 30 40 $50 a month, whatever suits your budget, it all helps out. And the link for the Patreon account will be below this video on YouTube and also on my website. And make sure you visit my website and uh, read that article. There's a lot of links there for a lot more information. And please share this video on social media. Other than that, thank you for your time and have a good day.